minutes to eight. It's Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori, Māori Language Week. Ko te aronga o tēnei Wiki o Te Reo Māori, ki a kaha te korero, a hakoa e iti e paunamu. The theme for this week is to make the language stronger. And one of those who's done just that is former Silver Fern and Māori language expert Pāni Apapa. E te mare kura, nō mai haere mai ki te rangi i rangi o te aroa. Tēnā koe, Alex, tēnō pai tō reo i te atanei. That's, that's <laughs> just about as far as my te reo goes. <laughs> and, I, and I have to uh, credit Shannon Honui Thompson for providing that intro. Um, and uh, she's obviously done a whole lot of good work as well as going on that. Um, I wanted to start by asking you, how did you learn te reo? Uh, my mother is uh, was English, and so the language we learnt in the home was English. Uh, it wasn't until I was 11 I could learn te reo at intermediate school in Tokoroa. So prior to that, I had to just pick up words from grandparents, great-grandparents in the, um, at our marae. And even as a as a well, almost a teenager, I remember my language classes at high school. Mm. It can be really hard to get into it, even if you do have that cultural support there. Mm. So, how did you get to a stage where you're fluent? Uh, for me, what worked really well was um, patterns. So, getting into the patterns of the language. And if you're a if you're a language kind of oriented person, you'll quickly pick up which words are in the pattern and which words you can replace with other words to say different things that you want to say. So, there were books at that point uh, when I was learning back in the. Um, 80s, early 80s, called Te Rangatahi 1 and Te Rangatahi 2. They were quite um, prevalent in school back in those days and they had lots of patterns inside. So um, at, at the moment I'm all about trying to find ways to let people see the patterns really easily and then crack the code of the language so that we take away some of the barriers. Well, yeah, I was going to ask you about that because you also teach and I wanted to ask, you know, what do you find does work better. You're talking about that, you know, cracking the code. Mm. Um, is that what you see when you when you've got students um, that that some of them kind of click in and mm. get it, mm. and uh, and once they've got that, they they find much easier to get to a degree of fluency. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. The aha moments mm. are what keep teachers in the business, really. And different learners have different ways of picking up things. So. Uh, for me, the way to learn best is to find out how you learn best. That's the first thing. So find out whether you're a listening learner or you learn by looking at things, writing things down, using your hands to um, you know, play with something while you're abs- actually learning the language. So kinesthetic, you know. So mm. if you can find out what type of learner you are, then you'll be able to um, mould the way you learn to suit that way of that style of learning. Now you said you only started really getting into it when you were 11 years old. Mm. As a teacher obviously and we've heard this more broadly that um, it, it, it's, it needs to be a broader cultural immersion from even a younger age mm. if we're going to pick it up. Uh, you've been involved with um, producing te reo versions of popular shows, Spongebob, Squarepants, mm-hmm. uh, Dora the Explorer mm-hmm. as we know is that sort of bilingual, I think it's a, a, a English, Spanish um, sort of a program for children. Yeah. Mm. Um, what more can be done to get things like that happening on, on New Zealand screens and on the airwaves here? I think Māori Television have done a fab- fabulous job getting some of those um, key international uh, cartoons out in te reo. and now you're seeing Moana um, in te reo Māori so there are some films coming along more of that would be absolutely wonderful I have a lot of young people um, come up to me and say can you translate this film can you translate that film so there is uh, there seems to be a, a hunger amongst the younger generation I'm talking primary school age kids who want to see and hear more te reo Māori on their screens and that's something for the broadcasting industry to take on board Great. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning, Pania Papa, and her expertise there in speaking te reo Māori. Of course, we have to say this interview would normally be conducted mm-hmm. by a guy in Espina. Mm-hmm. We did get a text in asking, get the back here, guy, and on the very week we need to hear him on the air. What's going on? It's mm-hmm. from Greg at um, Otautahi. And we can tell you Guyan is under the weather. Doctors have told him to take a few days off, so we send our very best wishes to Guyan for a speedy recovery. Kia kaha, kia toa, kia mana ma- Mana moanui. I was about that last one. Kapai. If you do want to learn a little bit more te reo, of course, you can watch Guy and Shannon Hanui Thompson have a chat about some kiwaha, colloquial or slang phrases you can use in your everyday conversations. We will feature one on the program before we finish uh, today. And uh, if you want to go to the RNZ website, uh, you just go to the podcasts and series page and uh, and you'll be able to just follow on and, and, and see them and have their, while well, they have their chat in te reo, uh, giving you some useful phrases that you can just slip into your everyday English as well. RNZ News